Now, your KSBW weather forecast with meteorologist Art Jarrett. Well, good morning to you. Doing a little bit of work on the eighth day here. This computer's moving a little bit slow, and I apologize about that. But let me show you some conditions that are happening. First, we're going to start off here with uh, the uh, of water vapor imagery. I've been talking to you about this for a bit here. Take a look to the left. That is high pressure right in the left center here. This is high pressure trying to build yet again for you here. This is drier air working offshore, working across the state. This is uh, starting at 2.45 a.m. Then you've got the storm track trying to push down in some little angles from time to time. Why? Because high pressure's on one side area of low pressures on another side and then you've got all of this warmth and dry air down along pretty much California. As you can see this kind of sliding down along. It's almost like ice cream melting there. You've got colder air trying to get down and warmer air trying to go to the north. Typical of this time of year as uh, we're trying to uh, transition some of that heat up to the north and cooler air down to the south. We'll hold on to high pressure here. Dry conditions across much of the state. A few high clouds are trying to get closer and closer. That'll get into the evening hours, possibly the overnight hours, taking us to mostly clear skies. We'll have fog and low cloud activity along the coastline. And uh, as we go through the morning hours, we'll lose the fog on the inland side, get back into sunnier skies. There are a few high clouds drifting by there. As we go to Tuesday and to Wednesday, we'll pick up some more partly cloudy conditions for Wednesday with more high clouds coming in. By Thursday, rainfall starts to move down along the coastline. You see it on the inland side. This is where most of it's going to be. Uh, Mendocino County getting into Sonoma County. And then along the coastline here, we may pick up maybe a mist, a bit of mist and some drizzle out uh, along the coastline, but that's about it. We've got the offshore winds coming in today and that will continue to push down along the coastline. A little bit breezier coming down the Big Sur coast with some offshore winds coming up for the higher elevated areas down to the, the low lying coast. And then by Wednesday and Thursday we get clouds coming in sweeping over us. We'll take us to partly cloudy skies. By Thursday we'll begin to lose some of those clouds and then we'll get to sunnier skies on Friday. Your temperatures across the board you're looking at 60s by the bay uh, along the coastline as well. Moving into the interior portions now you start to see some 70s rolling in. 72 in Carmel Valley, 70 in Salinas, down the Salinas Valley picking that that up. A mix of 60s and 70s for San Benito County. You'll see in Gilroy 71 degrees and 66 in San Jose. Some of the cooler locations working for Morgan Hill down. Upper 60s to the low 70s for San Juan Batista. 66 in uh, areas by a marina. Now as we take it into your forecast for tonight, look for mostly clear skies, patchy bay fog, and cold to chilly temperatures from at least 30 to 45 degrees. We'll go into your case BW 8 day forecast and seasonally mild conditions will ensue as we finish out the work week. Most temperatures at this time are about 58 to about 63 degrees in December. And as we go into your weekend, it looks to be quite pleasant. So that's how it all looks for us. Yeah, we'll take those 70s. <laughs> all right, all right, thanks. Okay.